You know, in Atlanta, they got a lot of boss chicks, and you already a boss chick. When you go to Atlanta, you damn sure going to boss up. The shit going to change. Goodness gracious, I did not want to cry. Look at me. Look at me. I'm a mess. <laughs> Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. I look a little bit crazy, but I have been throwing stuff out all morning. I just dropped off a bunch of groceries and clothes to my mom's house. So the clothes are obviously for my sister. And then I had to empty out my fridge and my freezer, which has so much stuff. Like I be, I be door dashing. Like I don't have food in the house. Right now I'm at Pet Boys to get a replacement windshield wiper. I don't even know if they're gonna have it. I might just have to go to Ben's, which I hope I don't have to go all the way out there. The last time I got a car wash, the car wash literally broke one of my windshield wipers and they were going to replace it, but they said they don't have like Mercedes wipers at Delta Sonic. So they told me to get my own and then they would just reimburse me. So I have the receipt so they can reimburse me reimburse me literally went through the car wash and then at some point my windshield wipers turned on and i literally lost a wiper i lost a wiper and i was like oh my gosh <laughs> i'm just trying to get stuff out of my apartment and start the drive to atlanta i think i'm gonna leave later tonight so i think i'm gonna wait until like eight nine um to leave and then i should get there tomorrow just in time to get my keys and all that. I am very excited. I have had so many different emotions leading up to this move. I was telling my lash tech and my best friend that I have been going through, it just feels like this season of shedding. So I'm just letting go of the old me so the new me can step up to the plate. It's crazy. I cannot believe I'm about to move out of state by myself for the first time which this is very on brand for me it's not like a big shock that i would do something like this but it's my first time like i have always lived in new york state always am i really driving down to atlanta i am ah! <laughs> the gemini in me is so excited to do this i have never taken this long of a drive before Atlanta is 14 hours, 14 hours. I'm gonna have to update you guys on how I do this. I don't know. I've just been praying every single day. Like every day I'm like, God, God, are we sure? Are you sure? Is this, am I doing the right? Oh, sweet Jesus. We're moving to Atlanta. <laughs> Look at how packed my car is. This is the issue with having a coupe. Look, I have no room. So I just took all this stuff out of my car because I don't know why I'm trying to bring tea bags. Just had to reevaluate how I pack my car because it's just so small. Why? why? Why am I packing seasonings? Like I can't just go to the grocery store and get more seasonings? There's a saying, when the devil ignores you, then you know you're doing something wrong. You know, the, the devil goes, oh no, leave him alone. Hey, he's my favorite. When the devil comes at you, maybe it's because you're trying to do something right. What do I have to say? Atlanta's a beautiful place. You're smart, you're brilliant. You can handle this. I know you got it. You've been living on your own all this time. And, and without my bullshit, you still doing what you gotta do. You're still doing you. Keep your head up wherever you go. You know, in Atlanta, they got a lot of boss chicks, and you already a boss chick. When you go to Atlanta, you damn sure going to boss up. The shit going to change. You have no kids. You have no man tying your ass down. Your ass is lucky. I like it. I love it. Thanks Use so much. Use that smart shit, because I know you're smart. Mm. Use it. Mm -hmm. Use it for your benefit. Yes, Nobody ma'am. Nobody else. Fuck everybody else. Do mm. you. Do you. <laughs> Seriously, do you. Forget about you. You're more important than everything else that's going on. You, the Lord and Maker, and whatever else, you're good. You're gonna be just fine. I don't think it'll be that bad. I can come to visit. Oh, okay. And it's probably gonna be nice down there. Oh, okay. So are you gonna come? Yeah. The 
bed in the background, I can't move it. So it's just, it's just there. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, beautiful people. Today is the day. I don't know why, why I'm moving, why I'm dancing. <laughs> about to make a 14 hour drive like a 14 hour drive all the way to atlanta georgia by myself to be honest this whole month has been extremely 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 stressful i had covid i had a mexico traveler stomach bug so i could not hold food in my stomach i want to say thank you to everyone that was sending me supportive messages while i was sick that really, that really, really helped me. Shout out to my best friend. Shout out to the girls I went on the trip with for checking on me. I went to the hospital when I had COVID and then I came home, I had my period. And so for about a week and a half, I spent every single day crying in tears, literally on the floor. I could not stand in the shower. I was in pain, I was crying, I was alone. On top of other like normal life stressors, it's just been a very stressful month. And then by the time I felt better from COVID and all of my sickness, I had maybe a week and a half to prepare for this move. So this move is very, <laughs> very ill-planned. Even though I knew I was moving like two months ago, I really thought I was gonna have time in June right after my birthday trip to plan. I've been in this apartment for a year and I never really furnished it. And a lot of people were asking me like, Q, like, why didn't you furnish your apartment? This is why I knew I wanted to make an out of state move. And it didn't make sense to make this a home and you know, put all this expensive furniture when I knew that I probably wasn't going to take any of that. So with me not having that much time to plan this move properly, I was getting quoted really expensive prices for moving. It was just a lot. And I decided that it just made the most sense to drive to Atlanta because I don't have that much stuff to put in a U-Haul. I packed my car up by myself and last night I was so exhausted. It's the reason that I'm leaving late today because I was just so tired, I was so tired. And I was in the midst of vlogging and I actually caught like me having a moment where I'm just like trying to reset, breathe, like pray like God, I know I'm tired right now but I just have to keep going. And then my mom literally texted me like two seconds after that and my sister, they were like, we're outside. And I'm just like, no, now how y'all gonna pull up? But I needed that. I needed my mom. Cause I just do so many things alone. But in that moment, especially because of how this whole month went, my mom's words meant a lot. I lived in New York State my entire life. I know how to drive here. I know where the potholes are. We are on to bigger and better things, they say. Things turn up when you leave your hometown. God's plan, I trust it. I trust it 100%. Does that mean I always understand it? No, this is the rebirth. I can feel that I'm uncomfortable for a reason. I can feel that I'm emotional for a reason. I'm anxious for a reason. I was stressed this entire month for a reason. The blessings that are about to come are going to blow my mind. And I need to be able to look back and say, wow, wow <laughs> wow we made it as someone that grew up on section 8 in a what 750 square feet apartment to be able to get up and go and move i have no children i have nothing literally tying me down to any one specific place and my business is built on helping others and i'm so blessed to be in this position and to do something that it's just like, ah, it's it's just, it's so crazy that this is my life. Like this is my real life. This is my actual life. Man, like, ooh, I've worked so hard. Like I work so hard. I work so hard. And it's like, I, I never give myself credit. I never give myself my flowers, but I am really proud of myself. Like I am really, really proud of myself and I'm really thankful to everybody that has supported. Oh, child, I'm not crying. Um, but I'm just really thankful. Like I really, 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 really appreciate everyone that has supported me. Like y'all, 
It's crazy. It's so crazy how this all started from a hair business. This all started from me doing one wig that I thought was just going to be for myself and maybe like a few other people to it turning into this incredible brand with people that like, oh my goodness gracious. Like, I don't want to cry anymore. I have a fresh lash fill. Ah! If you're watching this, thank you. If you've been supporting from day one, thank you. If you've been supporting from day two, thank you. If you've been supporting from day 365, thank you. I really appreciate you. The only way that I'm able to do this is first and foremost, God. Second, my belief in myself and my ability to just push through. But third of all, it is all of the people that have shopped with me, that have supported me, that have shared my work when you did not have to. Ooh. Goodness gracious, I did not want to cry. Look at me, look at me, I'm a mess. <laughs> this, we did it, like we did it. You and I, if you're watching this, even if this is your first time seeing me, please know that it gets better and a lot of the times it gets worse before it gets better and you have to hold on and you have to keep going breathe reset refocus figure out your why behind why you're on this earth and i promise you unimaginable things will happen things that you've never thought possible mm. Atlanta, 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 Atlanta. Moving, hey, we're moving, we're moving, we're mm, mm. <laughs> Not me doing TikTok dances. Okay, it's time to go. So I just got gas because I needed a full tank. I was literally three notches away from E. So the DMV is a good halfway point between New York and Atlanta, according to Google. So I'm gonna go to like Maryland or Virginia. Get my playlist on. interesting day and vlog and then I have all this stuff so I had to like move everything to I was going too fast why was I going that fast well I have this energy drink a Celsius energy drink and it's giving me the energy and I've just been pushing it I've been going 100 the whole time all right you didn't ready for the original speed moving yeah tell you how to pay it not guilty you'll set up a trial gotcha all thank right. you now being so young I gotta ask yeah what do you do to afford a Mercedes at your Oh, age? I'm an entrepreneur. What do you do? Um, so I started with the hair business, and then now it's turned into helping people with their social media. So really? marketing, social media growth, Good all the things. You. Thank you. Good to see. <laughs> Got my first speeding ticket. And um, obviously, I have to be guilty because, duh, I'm guilty. This is the current situation. The hair is up. I don't care. I'm tired. I got off the road to take an hour nap. I'm at, um, I'm actually at a hotel, but I'm, I don't want to go inside. I just want to take an hour nap because I was falling asleep on the road. I also should have left my house a lot earlier so I can make it to my apartment to pick up my keys. At this rate, I'm not going to make it to Atlanta until like 12, 1 a.m. So my apartment building's office is obviously going to be closed so i got a hotel for tonight and then i'll just go over to my apartment in the morning time to go to sleep ah, i just want to get there I need to grab an air mattress because I obviously don't have my bed or my bed frame and I'm trying to figure out which one should I get. I just need a simple air mattress, like nothing too crazy and it needs to fit in my car because I don't have a lot of room. I 
I was about to take a shower. That's why I have my shower cap on and my little elastic band, but I had to turn the lights off and just catch this vibe. Oh, I'm so happy. This is a vibe. This is the piece that you cannot buy. But it's like the calm after the storm. Oh my God. Oh, it's just so. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Ah!